the face of Salman Abidi, identified as the Manchester suicide bomber. He's now thought to have had help, quite possibly from an expert bomb maker. This amateur footage taken yesterday is believed to show his brother Ismail being arrested in Manchester. At the Abidi family home nearby, police used explosives to gain access and then search for clues. But there are international connections to this plot. From Manchester, Abidi is believed to have recently gone to Libya, a failed state. And today, the French interior minister said that war-torn Syria was also a country he'd probably spent time in. Increasingly, investigators have been coming around to the conclusion that the bomber, Salman Abidi, was not working alone, that he was simply the mule carrying a device that was designed and built for him by somebody else. That bomb maker would still be at large, which is why the UK terror threat level has been raised to critical. MI5, the security service, is working with the police and other intelligence agencies to try and trace every possible connection Abidi had both in this country and abroad. This is what we know about Salman Abidi. He was born in Manchester in 1994 of Libyan parents from Tripoli. He dropped out of Salford University and he was already known to the security services. In fact, the individual I spoke to yesterday who is a very close friend of the family described him as really a very naive individual. And that really suggests to me that he would not have been able to put the, you know, the explosive belt and to build it on his own. He must have had some support, you know, helping him doing that. Meanwhile, the search for clues continues. They're forensic, they're digital, and they are testimonies from both witnesses and suspects. This, say the police, is a fast-moving, wide-ranging investigation. Frank Gardner, BBC News.